hello guys so today we talk about uh, marine processes and uh, marine landforms so uh, as you know in my previous video i have already talked about uh, uh, fluvial glacial and uh, uh, eolian landforms so today we talk about uh, in this topic so see here this is the introduction so marine processes is the form of uh, geomorphic processes uh, where sea waves act as a powerful agents for erosion transportation and deposition so the waves originate due to the sweeping of winds uh, tides and uh, other factors over the water uh, over the water surface and erode the material now on approaching uh, shallow water near the source wave speed is reduced and they are uh, curved and uh, refracted against the alignment of the coast and uh, this action is actually uh, make the waves to cut uh, the rock exposures uh, or hillocks near the uh, sea areas and uh, within the sea also continue so, so see here this is the wavelength how the uh, sea waves is actually erode the material into the sea or uh, surrounding area so see here this is the upper layer of air sink and then waves have a circular orbit here this is the wave crest this is the uh, wave trough and orbit becomes elliptical due to the shore frictions uh, slowing uh, the base of the waves uh, actually see here this is the orbit because this is the distance from here now breaking waves against height here actually uh, waves are breaking here uh, that's why the waves is gain height at the crest then wave uh, this is actually wave period pass actually so this is the swass and uh, this is the back was when uh, waves uh, uh, travel to the one uh, one direction this is the swass and when the waves it uh, return to the uh, back that is the back wash so this both action is actually uh, responsible for eroding the material types of marine erosion so uh, sea waves aided by winds currents tides and storm carry on uh, the erosional and depositional processes so there are four types of erosion corrosion or abrasion attrition hydraulic actions and uh, solvent actions so uh, corrosion or abrasion are rock debris of all sizes with uh, sea waves grind against the base of the cliffs and wear them back by corrosion the process is repeated on coming tides and waves backwards as i said in previous slide that uh, uh, when the uh, debris of rock mix with the sea water and grind to each other in, uh, grind the base of the cliff actually base of the cliffs are rock exposures they uh, produce the finer particles so this is known as corrosion and the process is repeated when uh, tides are or tides or waves is uh, coming back wash attrition so waves that transport the rock materials such as uh, boulders pebbles and fine sands also hurl these materials against each other until they are broken into small small uh, pieces so it is means actually the uh, uh, lifting up the material or uh, particles or rock, rock boulders into the air and when it uh, hurl into the air the material each uh, uh, grinding or uh, grinding to each other actually and broken into the finer particles so this is the attrition hydraulic action so hydraulic action is the erosion that uh, occurs when the motion of water uh, uh, motion of water against a rock on the surface produces mechanical weathering most generally it is ability to move water uh, flowing or waves sea waves to spread and transport rock particles solvent action so the solvent or chemical action of waves is uh, another mode of erosion but it is uh, pronounced only if soluble rocks like limestone and chalk is present into the uh, nearby area on limestone coast the solvent action of sea wave sea water on calcium carbonate sets up uh, chemical changes in the rocks and uh, disintegration take place see here this is the process of uh, uh, sea waves erosion as you can see this is the waves and uh, this is the abrasion or corrosion when uh, rock particles which mix with uh, sea uh, waves 
they uh, grinding the uh, sea beds or uh, rock exposures so that is known as abrasion then attrition is the lifting of the particle uh, into the air and they these particles grind to each other and produce finer particles then hydraulic impacts in cracks and joints so this is the sea cliff and when the rock material uh, when the waves is uh, 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 hit into the uh, rock cliffs they produce the finer particles so solution uh, erosion is uh, occurs where uh, the limestone or uh, carbonate rock is present as you can see this uh, uh, this cavity is made by the solution of the uh, uh, sea water due to the carbonate material the second one is uh, marine transportation so marine transportation also have uh, three mechanism for erosion the first one is solution so minerals are dissolved in the water and carried along in a solution suspension when finer uh, light material is carried along in the water saltation when small pebbles and stones are bounced along the seabeds they also erode the material T traction so when large boulders and rocks are rolled along the seabeds they also erode the material see here this is the uh, saltation when the small stones pebbles and silt bounces along the seabeds they uh, erode the material solution dissolved minerals are carried by the sea this is the actually solution means actually the dissolved minerals that is carried by the sea waves suspension when fine material such as clay and sediments is carried by the sea fine material like uh, sediments finer particles are clay when carried by the sea that that is known as suspension traction means large boulders and pebbles are rolled along the seabed that that is known as traction then last one is marine deposition so deposition occurs when energy levels uh, decreases in environments such as uh, bays and estuaries where deposition uh, occurs on the inside of uh, spit a salt marsh can form so deposition is simple where when the sea waves energy each uh, uh, energy level is decreases the deposition occurs so uh, as we understand uh, the mechanism of uh, sea waves erosion or marine uh, erosion now see here this is the uh, erosional landforms first one is erosional landforms so headlands and bays cliffs along the coastline do not erode at the same rate when a stretch of coastline is formed from different type of rocks headlands and bays can form other one is second one is cliffs and wave cut platforms so cliffs are uh, shaped through uh, erosion and weathering soft rock erodes uh, quickly and uh, forms gentle sloping cliffs whereas the hard rock is more resistant and uh, forms uh, steep cliffs a wave cut platform is a wide gently uh, sloping surface found at the foot of a cliff so this you can understand by this uh, image actually as you can see this is the terrace sea terrace and uh, you can say this is the small surrounding hillocks near sea this is the sea area so these are the landforms you can see this is the sea caves this is the sea arch this is the sea stack this is the wave cut platforms or terrace what i uh, described in previous slide sea cliff this is the sea cliff caves arches stacks and stumps so caves arches stacks and stumps are original features that are commonly found on a headland cracks are widened and in the headland through the original processes of hydraulic action and abrasion as the wave uh, continue to grind uh, away at the crack it begins to open up to form a cave chasm so these are uh, narrow deep uh, uh, indentations carved uh, due to the headwater uh, headwards erosion through uh, vertical planes of weakness in the uh, rocks by wave action creek and inlets so creek is a natural stream of water normally smaller and often uh, tributaries to a river creek is a narrow uh, sheltered waterway especially an uh, inlet in a shoreline or channel in a marsh so inlet is an uh, indentation of uh, of a shoreline if uh, you can find inlet in anywhere 
that is means it is a short line usually long and uh, narrow such as a small bay or arm that often leads to an enclosed body of salt water such as uh, a sound bay lagoon or marsh area and cove so area is a coastline inlet formed by the partial submergence of an uh, unglaciated uh, uh, river valley it is a uh, uh, drawn river valley that uh, remains open to the sea cove is a small bay or inlet that uh, sheltered or restricted uh, entrance <coughs> see here this is the creek so this is a uh, uh, sea water channel actually as you can see this is the inlet so inlet is actually a small island you can say which is uh, carved in a uh, uh, narrow a narrow island uh, valley chasm you can see here this is the also result of uh, headward erosion of a cliff where the water is entered and uh, both side is high cliff is present the cove is actually a small bay you can say that is uh, uh, connected uh, by a small channel to the sea see here the depositional marine landforms so when water losses its energy any sediment it is carrying is deposited the build up of deposited sediments can form different features along the coast so first one is uh, first uh, depositional landform is beaches so beaches are made up of eroded material that has been transported uh, from elsewhere and then deposited by the sea spits and hook a uh, spit is uh, an uh, extended stretch of uh, sand uh, jutting out into the uh, sea from the land spits occur when uh, there is a change in the shape of the land uh, scape or uh, there is a river mouth bars and lagoons so sometimes a spit can grow across a bay and uh, join two headlands together this landform is known as uh, a bar they can trap shallow lakes behind the bar these are known as lagoon tombolos so tombolos uh, is a sandy isthmus sometimes uh, islands are uh, connected with uh, mainland by a bar called tombolo marine dunes so with the force of uh, onshore winds a large amount of coastal sand is uh, driven uh, landwards forming extensive marine dunes so these are the marine uh, uh, depositional landforms see here this is the beach this is a tombolo which connect the uh, two island actually you can say uh, the main island with uh, a small island barrier spit this is the barrier spit this is the tidal inlets not this is the lagoons and this is the bay barrier which enclosed the lagoon actually wave cut platforms so these are the wave cut platforms and we have built uh, uh, terraces so uh, actually this is the uh, landforms and uh, in my next videos i have also made some individual videos on these landforms so you can uh, subscribe this channel and uh, share into your friends to see more videos on uh, geology